Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? I still have a little bit <clears throat> of get, I'm getting over COVID, so I apologize if I'm still a little chesty. Uh, it's crazy, crazy cold today as I'm recording this in Iowa. It's negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's just the regular temperature. That doesn't include the wind chill, which is even worse. It's like negative 30 degrees if you're walking around outside. <laughs> My son's battery died in his car. A three-year-old battery just dead to the world. Engines don't like this. Parts, cars, you know, any type of vehicle don't like this kind of cold. Too cold. So I'm staying inside recording for you. <laughs> uh, last episode of uh, Good Place was a big one. They, the group as a whole, made it to the actual Good Place. Um, it looks like they're in a mail room or something like that. They came through like a mail chute. And uh, like Eleanor couldn't swear. She's happy. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much uh, for everyone uh, that's been watching the show and the series. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, thanks to my Patreons. But uh, other than that, yeah, let's uh, get in and watch The Good Place Season 3, Episode 10 see any go-karts much less go-karts being driven by monkeys wearing sunglasses and hawaiian shirts oh of course not when i was researching my fake neighborhood i learned about this the good place smells like whatever makes you happiest oh warm pretzels or, no wait it's the smell of absolute moral truth those two things have very similar <laughs> smells <laughs> now what all to my best friend jason mendoza also weed also some kind of uh Mail depot. So we're talking about mailmen now uh -huh. from heaven. Literally had that calendar and I did not get past March. What? Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't. Make sure that no one can follow us. Janet? On it. Oh! Holy crap! Keep a low profile. <laughs> that didn't work. Whoops. Let's just come clean and request asylum. Yeah, man, we're refugees. There you go. Request asylum. Uh, climbing through the, the, the mailbox, it, it, it blew up. Uh, it, the explosion was caused by demons. We we're being chased by demons. And the Dracula! Oh, there's a Dracula chasing us. Maybe Drac blew up the mailbox with his bazooka. Well, geez Louise, I'm sure glad you're- <laughs> She bought it. Watch this. I believe it! <laughs> Why are they here? Because they won a contest. Congratulations! They'll believe anything! Well, it's a door to the good place, but it won't open for you guys, though. The only door for humans is the official entrance, which is 500 trillion miles north-south north of here. So 500 trillion miles. Well, Chidi and I will be right there. No, it's not gonna work. Oh! Eleanor! What? This is how I always got out of escape rooms. I huh. Is everything okay in there? Yep. Okay, no follow-up questions. No, no follow-up. What is that, two inches thick? That's like four Oreos. We're four Oreos from uh, heaven. <laughs> that's how we measure things? With Oreos? The smell of the barf from the wave pool is really helping. How? Mm. Why? <laughs> There are no numbers. You pick it up and it connects you to whomever you want. But wow. Is that a dog barking in another room? Out of politeness and an abundance of caution, I'll go check. <laughs> I'm an accountant. I need to speak with the committee immediately. What's the matter? Do you remember that one time when we were in Janet's void and we all looked like Janet? I do? Yeah. Yes. You know how I saw that thing about how Janet loves me? Um... Who knows if a relationship will take hold, but you must begin from a place of honesty. Thanks, Dalani. It's nice to know I can talk about girls with my wife. Yes. And neutral Janets don't have feelings? How's it going in here? It is going neutrally. End of conversation. Can, can... End of conversation. Be confident and don't let them intimidate you. Wow. Oh, cool. Be invited here by you today for this momentous occasion. Whoa. Now, who are you? Positive. And it's tampering with the point system. My goodness, that would be a disaster. Yes. 
Brought you some water. Well, I mean, there's not a kitchen. She's trying to. Uh, she's trying to pick the lock. We're together in heaven, basically, and we're in love compared to some of the other stuff. Oh, I love now. First date. Four Oreos away from paradise. You still want to go out with me after I just showed you my anxiety sweats? Man, you must really be into me. <laughs> well, there have been dips before. Remember like 200,000 years ago when they invented stabbing and they're all just like yeah. stabbing? <laughs> and... While you wait, Kellen will stand by you, showering you with compliments. Great job, Michael. You are such a good speaker. Oh. This suit is very flattering. You have a lot of gravitas. I thought I was going to be annoyed by this, but... Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. You're a nice height. Your energy is electric. Uh, that would get old really quick. I'm so sorry, darling. This is all my fault. I encouraged Jason to complain about what we saw. You saw that too? No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> of you are married. This beige outfit really washes out my knot skin. And if I don't remain neutral in front of Gwendolyn, she's going to know we've been lying. All these new emotions I'm feeling are about to burst out of me, which might be super embarrassing. Oh, oh. What if they come out my butt? You don't have a butt. Thanking me for thanking you for thanking me for thanking you for thanking me for the champagne you sent me. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> and I would sneak into their office and read the unabridged dictionary. I can't believe I'm attracted to you. Yeah. <laughs> Holy forking fork. What do you think? Oh, he, he got, he's got a little mailman outfit. Oh, it's all your fault. Why, do you not like the outfit? I love the outfit. <laughs> you look amazing. And this sucks, and I'm furious, and I'm the happiest I've ever been, and I blame you. I'm the happiest I've ever been. And we are fast-tracking the process. It will take no more than 400 years. What? The team will then be in charge of organizing a blue ribbon commission to investigate themselves to make sure there's no conflicts of interest, uh, and that will take 1,000 years. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a problem. We're taking this very seriously. Here, here. Callan, did you file a here, here memorandum? No. Sincerest apologies. I rescind my here, here, and resign. Uh, a blue ribbon commission to investigate blue ribbon. themselves. To oh. And this is going to take a while. 1,400 years? Have you seen the memorandum we've sent each other about how concerned we are? We're taking this very seriously. Hear, hear. Ooh, Callan, did you file a hear, hear memorandum? No. Sincerest apologies. I rescind my hear, hear, oh. and resign, effective immediately. Oh, no. That's stupid. <laughs> no longer fake married. I know it's not your main concern. True. I feel both pitied and put on the spot, so that's fun. And it's a cool reminder uh, of how I'm dead. Well, forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, burp that up. Yep. There. Canceled. Canceled. So you and I are married again? <laughs> no, we're, we're not. Um. Yes. <laughs> Stop trying to honey. My tears taste like the nacho cheese from my favorite movie theater. Wow! It's really a weird incentive to keep crying. Yeah, that is weird. There's uh, a quote I like by Tolstoy. There is only one time that is important. Now. Yeah. When we have any, any power. power. I know that quote. You gotta try. Now, she was talking about making the world a better place, but mm. I think it applies to relationships, too. I like these two together. Write down what we think you mean. What if we didn't? What's upstairs? Titanic is sinking and they're writing a strongly worded letter to the iceberg. Uh-huh. Can I ask you an unrelated question? Absolutely not. The fate of all of humanity is at stake. Uh. <laughs> you know them better than anyone else. How do I just make okay, them happy? Yes. How do you make Jason happy? You give him a lollipop shaped like a transformer. <laughs> Feels like a game you can't win. Oh, uh, something, something. There is another explanation. Unintended consequences. Oh, Tahani, you did it. Well, of course I did, darling. Did what? what did I, yeah, did what I do, yeah. 
a dozen roses, but he lost four points. Why? Because he ordered roses using a cell phone that was made in a sweatshop. Oh! Who sends his female employees pictures of his genitals. Woo! That is a very odd thing to cheer. Yeah. Because every day the world gets a little more complicated and being a good person gets a little harder. Ah, this needs to offset. Did I say something wrong again? No, I'm just crying because you're such a nice and thoughtful friend. And the emotions aren't coming out of my butt. Oh. They're coming out of my eyes, which is somehow just as embarrassing. No, that's tears. I'm British. I, I, I never cry. I'm, I'm British. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just like being a part of things. <laughs> Jason. Have you all been lying to me this whole time? That upsets me. I'm going to try to shake my fist at you. Oh, yeah. gosh darn it. <laughs> so this is a good place, huh? Hmm. Oh, what is it? Oh, frogs. Cool. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Interdimensional hole of pancakes is the most dangerous place in the universe. Oh. Any chance I could change real quick? Nope. Cool. Oh no! Is this IHOP? Not the place you're thinking of. This is the interdimensional hole. This looks like the same place you got to the door. If you eat anything in this IHOP, you will literally explode. Yeah, I know it's IHOP. I know it's IHOP. Portal to another dimension. Hope our molecules don't liquefy and regroup. Sure. Yeah, so I don't. <laughs> Push him! Here's your options. Option number one. Yep, good job! <laughs> oh, weird. Whoa. They added a 10th dimension. <gasps> oh, fun. I know exactly what's going on. We all smoke too much. Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes, and then we'll be back in Pillboy's broken hot tub, and this will all be over. Uh huh. Sure, Jason. Don't forget your Transformers lollipop. So, you know how me and you used to be married when I was dead before? Uh-huh. I think I'm starting to catch feelings again for you. Mm -hmm. And if I don't double die... If I don't double die... Disrespect my orders. Steal the only key to Earth. Meddle with an already compromised timeline. Kidnap the human... Uh-huh. You stole a book from a cat! No more rule breaking. Starting now. Uh oh. Hello, Chi D. That is a great look for you. Uh huh. No. Oh my God! Where'd you come from, little buddy? No, don't touch it. Tommy, do not touch the need noggle. What? Bad. This is all bad. <laughs> Help! Oh. oh, an IHOP. Your reality to make you feel like you're in a normal IHOP. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of a slug creature, I have a cute little scarf. No, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch the scarf. That's still the need knuckle. The... <laughs> Why don't we all sit down so I can fill the judge in on what we've learned? How is this going to go? Your big revelation is life is complicated? That's not a revelation. That's a divorced woman's throw pillow. <laughs> I got this. Oh. I don't know. It makes people happy. Is it helping? No. I got this. Oh, Jason! I needed a place to crash, so I slept at Big Noodle's house. Turns out that he had to juggle three jobs to take care of four grandparents who all lived in the same bed. Just like in Willy Wonka. Oh. I knew how hard it was for him to be there. And he oh. definitely didn't have to research what tomatoes to buy, even if he wanted to. Possession of- Wow! You can't judge humans. Because you don't know what we go through. Wow! You know, zappy zappy, marble marble. Yeah, sure. We'll give it a shot. Okay. See what you guys go through. And then, one way or another, this is going to end. Okay, good. A good place where I can get Mexican food? Oh. Mexico, duh. <laughs> uh, that was Jason actually had the best <laughs> argument. Also, I guess I'm black, and they do not like black <coughs> ladies down there. Crap, y'all. <coughs> this is bad. 
It's terrible everywhere and always in a different way. The only uh, place I liked was Hawaii, although I barely yeah. liked the resort. The last place I went mm. was a Black Friday sale at an outlet mall in Michigan. Uh -huh. Why? Yeah, why? The first thing I did was I Googled big, juicy, natural tomatoes, which led me to a porn site uh -huh. that was for people with a sunburn fetish. <laughs> I kind of never recovered. Right, that's problem number one. Life is chaotic and messy and unpredictable. Those pancakes look yummy. Suggested. I obsessed over every choice, but that was also bad. So I'm problem number three. Oh no, you are nobody's problem, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> and the turtle makes a bet with Ronda Rousey. Oh. She, loses, she has to bow. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I want the bad place to weigh in on this. But first, let's have a change of scenery. <laughs> Oh. Limp biscuit, slavery, the prosecution rests. Gotta say that's a solid rebuttal. Uh-huh. The score they got on Earth is how good or bad they are. Full stop. End of story. Then why did these four get better over and over again in my neighborhood? Why did they help each other in ways they had never helped anyone? Very good. That's it. I know what we have to do. Oh, no. We're still in the IHOP. Anybody got eyes on cheating? Here you go. <laughs> I ah. just saw a trillion different realities. Uh -huh. Poor genie. What I was saying um, before, you know, I saw the time knife. Uh -huh. yeah. His neighborhood gave us the chance to become better people because it removed all the variables that make life on Earth hard. Sean is also right. The four of us becoming better people could be a fluke. So let's repeat the experiment. It's what Simone taught us about. Oh! My guess is they will do what the original four did. Seek help, support each other, make wise decisions, improve. I wouldn't allow it to be built in a good place, that's for sure. And I doubt you'd want to come back to- The middle place! Ooh! I have an idea. Hi, Mindy. We need to use your backyard. Yeah, the middle place. And if you want to talk to someone, talk to Derek. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Oh no, Derek. Fine, if you want to put labels on it, I guess he's my son rebound booty call. But he doesn't mean anything to me. Also, Derek never really worked, right? He's a buffoon. Uh-huh. He is a buffoon. I didn't see you there. I was just reciting some Edgar Allan Poe. Hi, I'm Derek. Welcome to the medium place. Did Derek get smarter? I pass out. When I come to, I'm a little bit smarter and a little bit better. Oh! But I almost have a full grown penis now. It's resplendent and mostly functional. How many times has Mindy rebooted you? I don't know, half a million? Half a million? Cool. So. They have to be the same general level of badness as the original four, all right? Okay. There's no dictators, no one who managed a boy band. No one who managed a boy band? I say we get them from the good place. Over my dead skin suit. Well, what other option do we have? Would anybody like a medium snack? I myself will be enjoying another classy martini. Don't mind if I do. Oh. I can make the people. Just like I made Derek. The judge restores my powers in the medium place. I can do it. You will have one year of Earth time to try to improve. One year? <laughs> that is funny. I have some ideas for how to design a sort of basic neighborhood. Oh, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Some ideas? I have 11 trillion ideas. Yes. Good. So glad you're here, Jen. Yeah, push the button. <laughs> Restaurant name here. Wow, big lake. This house was. No, not her house again. Most of the time, we'll just get to live together like a normal couple. We can chill out and just relax and Have study philosophy. Yeah, uh huh? <laughs> what is she doing? Thank you for making me. Bye. Okay, Daphne's done. Only another 185 people to go. I'll check back in an hour. Thanks, Jason. Making people is exhausting. Can't help but notice you're 
making a bunch of people. Why is he there? Hold my classy martini while I get down to business. Let's make people. Just wanted to wish you bad luck. Yeah, bad luck. Break a leg. Switch it up once in a while. Try using teeth flatteners and bees with penises. First of all, that's stupid. He's writing it down. You are disgusting. Disgusting. -a. Oh, Michael, it's going to be so amazing watching your four BFFs look so sad and betrayed. Oh, come on. Unleash a swarm of penis bees. I invented those. Uh-huh. Sure. Subject one. So who are the people? Is he out there right now? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's freaky. <laughs> so, based on initials. Yeah? What we have to do today is tell Johnny's in the good place, show him around the neighborhood, and get him to Tahani's welcome party. That's it. We can deal with the rest later, right? Right. right hey. Right, right. So we are pretending it's the good place again. Here I go. Okay. I'm gonna... Yep. Where does she go? Is there another door? I can't do this. Hello? Is anyone here? Michael, buddy, John is awake. We uh -huh. need to open the door and welcome him into the afterlife. Oh, uh -huh. come on. Too scary. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No. Hello? Eleanor's got to do it. Okay, let's talk about it. That got interesting really quickly. <laughs> Michael and his mental breakdown. It's not good. Not good at all. Um... So, here's the question. Does Eleanor jump in or what? And then why are we why are we saying it's the good place and why aren't we like it's the middle place? You have to it's still not decided if you're in the bad place or the good place. It's the middle place. Like why we we can have that discussion. Um I don't like that Derek is involved again. He's an idiot. Uh, what else? I don't know. The whole poor Chidi <laughs> getting sucked into the whatever the world thing is and flying. Around. <laughs> Love that. That was great. Uh, the IHOP pancakes looked really yummy, but I'm sure if I would have eaten them, they would have killed me or something. I don't know. I am so enjoying the like zaniness of this show. It's just. It catches me off guard all the time, and that's what I love about it. Just random things that happen, just... Oh, 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 we gotta talk about Jason's speech! Like, holy crap! Jason had a actual, valid thought process that came to a conclusion in a positive manner <laughs> and didn't include a Transformers lollipop! Uh, hmm. Also, what would your smell be in the good place? I want to know. Comment, please. I want to know what your smell at your good place comment is. Mine is the farm. It it really is. There is something very special about two things. One, just standing amongst it and the smell. But more importantly, one of my favorite smells in the entire world is a watering a field like i my wife knows she never has to worry about the garden not getting watered i will go out there and stand in the garden and spray it with fresh water just so i can smell the whatever scent it is that comes off all of the garden when i water it oh the same thing happens after a fresh rainstorm you know, on the field. It's it's just, oh, euphoric. I don't know why. <laughs> I love it to death. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much to my Patreons. They really, really help the channel. Consider being one if you aren't one now. And uh, yeah, never forget that you are awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.